As the British Royal Navy gears up for a significant Indo-Pacific deployment, it has begun integrating heavy-lift drone technology into its operations aboard HMS Prince of Wales. The introduction of the Malloy T-150 quadcopter marks a notable evolution in the Royal Navy's logistical capabilities, as it shifts some resupply responsibilities from manned helicopters to autonomous aerial systems. On the flight deck of HMS Prince of Wales, drone operators from the 700X Naval Air Squadron are conducting field trials with the T-150, a drone engineered for carrying medium-sized payloads across short maritime distances. This move is part of a larger initiative to make the Royal Navy's logistics more agile and less dependent on costly rotary wing aircraft for routine transport tasks. The 700X Squadron, operating from Renaz Kuldros, is at the forefront of the Navy's drone experimentation efforts. Specializing in the use of remotely piloted air systems, RPAS, the squadron is currently deploying a 12-member detachment aboard the carrier to handle 9T-150 drones. These units will serve not only on the flagship but also on two additional ships within the carrier strike group. This drone deployment aligns with the Navy's strategic shift toward incorporating autonomous platforms into standard operations. The T-150 drones will be tasked with transferring lighter cargo, items like spare parts, food supplies, and personal packages, between ships. Such missions typically require helicopter support, but previous naval exercises have shown that most transported items weigh under 50 kilograms, making drones an ideal alternative. Developed by Malloy Aeronautics in the UK, the T-150 is an advanced electric drone with vertical takeoff and landing capability. It features eight rotors and can carry loads of up to 68 kilograms at speeds reaching 60 miles per hour. With a flight time ranging from 20 to 40 minutes based on payload, the drone can be flown via remote control or follow autonomous routes using preset coordinates. Operationally, the shift to unmanned logistics platforms offers several benefits. It enables the Royal Navy to preserve its helicopter resources for higher-stakes missions like anti-submarine operations and surveillance. The drones require fewer personnel to operate, can be deployed from compact areas aboard ships, and reduce the risk associated with low-priority supply flights in uncertain conditions. Moreover, these tests underscore the UK Ministry of Defense's drive to rapidly incorporate emerging technologies across its defense branches. The T-150 trial is a tangible example of this accelerated innovation pipeline, what would have traditionally taken years is now being tested and deployed within months. The broader implication of the trial extends beyond logistics. By proving the effectiveness of drones like the T-150 in real-world scenarios, the Royal Navy is laying the groundwork for expanded drone roles in intelligence gathering, communications, and electronic warfare. This signals a long-term vision in which unmanned systems become central to naval strategy. As HMS Prince of Wales prepares to venture into the Indo-Pacific theater, the performance of these drones will be closely monitored. Their success could redefine how modern navies conduct resupply operations at sea and shape the future blueprint for autonomous military capabilities.